Hey everyone, how you doing today? It's me, David. I'm here in my whiskey den here in Central Ohio. <laughs> it's the state, I've said it before, I'll probably say it again, I'm gonna say it now. It's the state that's round on the ends and high in the middle. Ohio, baby. So, um, welcome to the least watched bourbon review channel here on YouTube. <laughs> We're here in my whiskey den in Central Ohio. So today, what are we going to do? We are going to check out these two bourbons, Beardstown and Flatboat. Flatboat is an offering from the liquor barn chain down in Kentucky. It costs about 25 bucks a bottle. Beardstown uh, was about 20 bucks. I found it at a liquor store. I, I'm sure they sell it at liquor barn. I, I found it at a small liquor store in Kentucky. And um, figured, you know what? I love the bottle. The bottle is just so cool, isn't it? I like, well, the label's cool. The bottles on um, each of these is exactly the same. They're both 90 proof. They're both in the same exact bottles, screw top bottles. <clears throat> I figured, you know, let's check it out. Check it out, man. Check it out. Let's see if these are exactly the same bourbons. Um, from the flat boat is produced by Barton 1792. There's no recipe, no mash bill, no age statement that I can find. It is 90 proof. Um, Beardstown, again, I didn't really, I couldn't find any information on it. Um, Beardstown is named after the Nick, I guess it was the nickname for Bardstown back in the day. Um, so let's see what we got here. I'm really going blind. I mean, not going blind. I'm really kind of blindly checking these out with no real info for you. I'm sorry. But, um, let's see what we got. I want to. They look the same. <laughs> they look exactly the same. Same to me, to my eyes, to my four eyes, the same shade of light brown, well, medium brown, amber, amberish brown. Huh. So let's see. I, I do like the flat boat. Let's see. It smells like bourbon. They smell the same. <clears throat> and to be honest, if they are the same, I might just dump some of this into that and top off that bottle. I don't know. Um, let's see. It's a nice... Not a foo-foo bourbon. It's got some age on it. I'd say that's probably about... I've, I'm assuming it's at least aged four years. It's got a nice spice to it. Um, to me, it's the classic Kentucky bourbon. Um, when I think of bourbon, that's pretty much what I think of. It's not something that's like... I'm sorry to say Jim Beam... Is classic. It's the, the you know people consider that the definitive bourbon, but it's really such an entry level. Um, this actually has to me. It's like a high rye content. It's got a nice spice to it, and everything blends really well together. It's not like you know it's like there's some whiskeys. I'll just say bourbon or Tennessee whiskeys, American whiskeys, where I I have that malt. Um, flavor that kind of overpowers um, or you know, it's kind of off kilter it tastes a lot like corn whiskey but that's just so balanced and nice um, and for 25 bucks what a deal what a bargain you know but enough about that I mean let's try the Beardstown smells the same Tastes exactly the same. Wow. It's got a nice... 
everything I said about the flatboat is like the same thing with the beard sound. I have a feeling Barton 1792 has a special batch, a special blend. And I mean, it, that says Brookstone, Brookstone Distilling Company in Louisville. Louisville, and this is Founders Company, Louisville, but it's the same product. I had a feeling it would be. So I have a feeling, um, you know, it could be Liquor Barn orders X amount of cases, and whatever excess there is, maybe Barton bottles it under Beardstown, but that's like exactly the same bourbon. They're really good. I really, you know, it's, they are cheap bourbons, but they're not, I, well, let's just say they're inexpensive, but they're not cheap. They are good middle of the road, mid-range Kentucky bourbons. And well, I'll just consider it the same product with each of these. Um, it's kind of like in my brain, what I would consider a good traditional Kentucky bourbon would be like. Um, nothing too refined, but not harsh either. Just nice and well balanced, which is very surprising <laughs> to me because they are kind of on the budget side and they're not name brands. They're not what everyone's chasing after. But tell you the truth, next time I'm in, I'm in Kentucky, I'm going to snag... I'll, pro I'll probably snag another bottle of each because they're just, I mean, I like the different label variations. They take up a nice spot on the shelves. It looks nice, but, you know, either way, I'll pick either one of them up. Wouldn't be ashamed to serve either one to company because they're actually the same thing. So there you go. Um, not going to keep rambling about it, but... And I've kind of determined in my, to my palate, my opinion, they're the same bourbons, same bottles, different labels, excellent values. So if you run across either one of them, um, give them a try. All right. If you're in Kentucky at a liquor barn, yeah, pick it up. And they also have, from what I've seen, like single barrels and different selections. So, hey, if if you see them and you're adventurous, go on ahead, all right? All right. So there you go. Until next time, it's me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in central Ohio. Before I sign off, if you like the channel, you can join the Elite Club. <laughs> you can subscribe to the least watched bourbon review channel here on YouTube. And of course, I have not done any in-depth analysis. I just look to see how many views I have on each video. All right. So, um, there you go. I'll, uh, just always, as always wish that your next pour is your best pour. I will catch you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Hey everyone. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos as they drop. Thanks for watching.